Lean shipping is located in approximately the middle of Sweden. We have around 22,000 students and 6,000 staff in our schools in the education system. I actually love teaching. I love getting up in the morning and coming here. It's never hard to go into the classroom. What I really love about teaching is seeing the kids make this aha moment and realizing the subject and uh, well, getting it. My daily work challenges before using AI and Gemini, I usually had problem constructing and finding material. It takes so long to produce a good teaching material, you usually have to construct it yourself and uh, make sure it's up to date and it's current and as well as uh, adapt it to the class because every class is different, so you need to adapt your material. I am driven seeing people grow, uh, seeing these young people, young students, but also my staff to grow. As a principal, it's very important to know how your teachers work, but also what workloads they have. And when they were really introduced to Gemini, they were like, yes, finally something we, we can work with. When we saw that Google was coming out with Gemini, we could see how you could use AI in our tools that we use every day to be more efficient, to be more productive, to create time for our regular tasks. So what we felt like with Gemini and Notebook LM and the tools embedded into Google Workspace, we felt like this is something that we have to supply our staff and students with so that they're able to use AI responsibly so that the data is protected and kept secure. It's not training any models. It's not something that external people have access to. Making teachers feel secure with using new technology was one of the guiding lights of this pilot. So therefore we created a workshop, a three hour workshop where teachers were taught how to use AI tools, how to prompt and how to use it in a secure and effective way. Piloten med Gemini var jättebra. Det var en ögonöppnare för mig som lärare. Jag har ändå varit lärare i 20 år men liksom det här är revolutionerande. Ja men alltså när jag får extra tid så kan jag på något sätt skärpa upp min undervisning, jag kan skapa bättre eh, presentationer, jag kan eh, ge mer tid åt mina elever, jag kan fundera kring hur man kan utveckla undervisningen. It helps me to create time, so it's, it's actually a lifesaver for me. If you use AI properly, if you use it as, as a study aid which enables you to reflect, to recollect, to think and not just produce without reflecting around it, uh, then AI can be a fantastic tool for students to learn more. But we need to and we have the responsibility to teach students on how to use AI responsibly. Jag själv använder AI för många olika saker. Det kan vara både för att planera någonting, till exempel hur jag hinner plugga inför ett prov. It's not a question about if, uh, it's not a question about when, it's only a question about how. I would tell my fellow teachers not to be afraid of AI. Just try and fail and learn. It's not really the end of the world, it's the beginning of a world.